Hey guys, Gary here with Automatic Door and Hardware, and today I thought I'd discuss a, a topic that I get asked a lot, especially from building owners or people that are new to the door hardware industry, and that is, what is a commercial door closer? So, uh, you know, a commercial door closer, uh, you may have seen them. They're usually either mounted at the top of the door frame or on the door. There are concealed versions, especially with storefront aluminum doors, and I can go into that later later on in another video, but your typical commercial door closure that you find on a hollow metal steel door or a commercial wood door um, is essentially made up of, uh, a, of a few components. And you have your closer body, which is usually made up of some sort of uh, cast aluminum or other type of material. And that closer body is what houses the hydraulic fluid, the high tensile spring, closing spring, um, the rack gear, and then your arm spindle. So how it works is the, as everybody can see, when you're looking at the face of the door, you can you can clearly see the closure body and that's either in, either covered with a, some sort of plastic cover or it's exposed. Um, a lot of the slimline door closers are exposed and it's just simply a cylindrical cast housing that you see and then the arm which comes off of the closure body and the the arm attaches to an arm spindle that goes into the closure body the arm spindle is usually either star shaped or square shaped and the arm spindle goes into the closure body inside within the closure body on the arm spindle on the other end of the arm spindle is a gear which meshes with an internal rack gear. The rack gear sits inside of the cylinder, the closer body horizontally. So as the arm spindle rotates, the rack gear rotates horizontal, slides horizontally within the closer body, kind of like this. On the other side of the rack gear is a the high tensile spring. So how it works is when a pedestrian opens a, opens a door. The arm spindle rotates, causing the rack gear to move laterally or horizontally. When it does this, it's compressing the high tensile spring. So when the door is actually in the full open position, the high tensile, tensile spring is uh, almost completely compressed. Then as the pedestrian exits or moves through the doorway, the door will shut from the power, the from the compression of the spring, because the spring will decompress to its normal full length position. So, in terms of regulating speed or closing speed, it's done through the hydraulic portion of the door closer. So, on a door closer can be the way I like to think of it is a door closer can have about two chambers, and you have your rack gear side which holds hydraulic fluid, and you have your spring side, which holds hydraulic fluid. And those two chambers are interconnected through, a sm through small channels that are controlled through by regulation valves. So those valves can be closed, can be screwed in more or screwed in less to control how much hydraulic fluid can move from between both chambers. And that's how they control the speed. So since hydraulic fluid or hydro, the idea of hydraulics is the liquids cannot be compressed. So as the, so when a pedestrian opens the door, the rack gear compresses the spring. So as the rack gear compresses the spring, all that hydraulic fluid in on the spring side of the door closer, uh, it cannot be compressed. It has to go somewhere. So it travels through the small channel channels into the rack gear side. And that's how the actual closing speed of the door closure is regulated, is by either screwing in that closing speed valve or loosening it up so that, uh, so that the hydraulic fluid can pass between both chambers. Um, with that being said, the high, with that being said, a typical door closure will have about, will have two adjustment valves and that's the closing speed valve the main closing speed valve, which, you know, controls the speed at which the doors in the full open position all the way to about 15 degrees before the door fully closes. 
and that la the last 15 degrees is controlled by what we call the latch speed valve and that that is the valve that probably gets neglected the most um you may have walked through commercial doors before and have noticed they're slamming uh, this is because the latch speed valve is not adjusted a lot of times a lot of times people will keep that valve uh, almost fully open so that uh, the door will have enough power to close and latch um, this valve you really want to wash and make sure it's always adjusted properly because nobody wants to get their uh, fingers pinched and if you're a commercial building owner or a retail store owner, uh, that's very important. You know, you don't want an unsafe door condition. So those are the two main adjustments for the door closer. Um, if you have any other questions or or uh, are looking or in the market for commercial door closers, you can find them at autodoorandhardware.com. Uh, we offer our Commando brand door closers, which come with, I like to say, all the bells and whistles, such as, you know, the back check valve adjustment. Um, our, one of the main feet, one of our selling points on our door closures is that we, we use uh, higher grade internal components. And what that means is our rack gear and arm spindle are very beefy and we use oversized O-ring seals. So what that ensures is that when you install our door closer, you won't get the the leaking uh, hydraulic fluid that you may have come across going through other other door entries. Um, our door closures are also easy to install and uh, you know they're just built to last. So if you're in the market, visit us at www.autodoorandhardware.com and search for our commando door closers today. Thanks.